Well, there might be only nine people now who care deeply about this, but it's time to talk about updates to Intel only video card support for DaVinci Resolve under Linux again. In a video a few months ago, I detailed a state of affairs under which things had moved from Resolve not really working at all to still not working, but getting better when the system on which it was run had only Intel graphics. And in that video, I mentioned a comment to a previous video by a guy named Sylvain Renault, uh, in which he referenced a pull request he submitted to Intel, which aimed to make Resolve and several other OpenCL applications work properly on Linux. That pull request is here. It has been merged. It had been merged at the time of my previous video, but it had not made it to any release. At the time uh, of the previous video, the most recent version of the driver called Intel Compute Runtime was at version 24.05.284454.6. Uh, this version of the driver did not include Sylvain's patch set. And under, I run NixOS, so under NixOS 23.11, uh, I had tried to update to a Git version of Intel Compute Runtime by hand that contained Sylvain's patch. And when I did so, it played, but both the timeline playback pane and the clip playback pane for, were for me empty. And I was, I was un, unable to get it. However, I'm happy to report that Sylvain's patch set has now made it into a release version of the Intel Compute Runtime driver. And I can confirm that Resolve appears to work fine under the later 2417 29377.6, I'll put these numbers in the description, which as of this writing is the most re recent release from Intel. So as I said, I run NixOS, NixOS 2405, the most recent NixOS release ships with Intel Compute Runtime 2417 29377.6, which is the most recent Intel Compute Runtime release, which means that under the most recent NixOS release, DaVinci Resolve just works on my Intel only system, which has an onboard Intel UHD graphics 630 chipset. I cannot confirm that Resolve works under Intel Arc cards or laptop XE graphics chipsets because I don't have a system with either, but I believe the driver targets these platforms too, so it's, it's likely. Now, I can't tell you what to do to get a working version of Intel Compute Runtime for your Linux distribution, except to relate that the version 2417, 29377.6 definitely works for me. I can also relate that versions 24.13.xx releases will probably work. I didn't actually try any of these versions because they were skipped in my update cadence. But I've confirmed that at least one release in that genre, 2413 29138.7, also contains Sylvain's patch set. So if that's what your distro has, you might give it a shot as well. If you want to see what uh, I need to do, you need to do to get it running generically under NixOS, you can uh, look at my prior video, which I'll link to in the description. I, I will say that even an AI audio transcription under Resolve Studio works. It, it takes 20 times as long, but it, but it finishes. And I'm sure there are other limitations. I mean, it's onboard graphics, uh, but I'm planning to edit this video and Resolve under Intel. And if you're seeing it, it means it works well enough, or at least that. This is fantastic because it likely means that Arc Graphics War too, and we can buy graphics cards that cost less than $2,000. I'm looking at you, NVIDIA 4090, to do complex projects at acceptable performance. That said, I don't know for sure. Uh, if you've got ARC graphics and you try it, please leave a comment. I'd love to hear, hear about it. All right, thanks.